Hi friends, hope you have seen my other videos on how to create a script using Neoload and how to install Neoload and various other videos. Today we are going to see about the logical actions which we have in Neoload. Welcome to Little Sla. This is your Vasan Shanmugam. Today let's see the second logical action that is loop. Let's first create a script. Let's first go to the landing page. I'm entering the store now. Third, I'm signing in. I enter my credentials and do the login. And now I am going to add one of the birds in my car. Here we can see two birds, one is Amazon Parrot and the second one is Finch. I am adding the Amazon Parrot. I am adding it to cart now. I am updating my cart. And now I'm clicking to proceed to checkout. I'm clicking continue now. Now I'm clicking confirm. And now we can see the quantity is 1 and we have this item ID and the total amount. Let's go to the main menu. And let's check the cart once. Let's go to my orders. I'm opening the order ID. And here we can see the quantity is 1. So let's now sign out. And we are done with the scripting.
now we are ready with the script let's now add this looping action and see how does it works so i'm dragging and dropping it in the user path and now i'm bringing all the actions which have to loop any number of times inside this loop action so i'm selecting it from click birds till add update and to proceed and until confirm I'm dragging and dropping this inside the action so now everything comes under the loop and see for example I'm keeping three times the loop so let's now and let's now go and see how this looping works I'm now validating the script and here you can see I'm running this script for one iteration but the loop for three times I'm starting the action let's wait and see so now we can see the script runs inside the loop and the current iteration is one and now we are into the second iteration and the script runs fine And you can see the second iteration here. And here we are entering the third iteration. And now we are proceeding towards the end. We are signing off and now the script has been successfully completed let's see how many items have been added once we log into the application manually now i'm in the orders page and here you can see all these three items we have added now So the script works fine and that's how the loop works let's now see what is while in our next video thanks for watching see you soon